again for those of you who are joining only for the first time this is professor bal gopal uh, for the last three sessions we talked about social group work now when we talking about social group work we have got uh, different elements one is the membership the second is the context or the environment whether it is under the agency or whether it is uh hospital uh child welfare whatever it is so the agency environment is another concept and the third one is individual members so you have got group members you got agency you got individual members and fourth and most uh focus one is the group worker or we is called as the group leader now these four elements are very interdependent on each other whatever happens in one of these elements does have impact on what we call commonly in social work as group process or group dynamics the activity which takes place within the group is what the leader focuses on examines manipulates and what not so last week when we talked about the size and the composition and the membership the nature of membership all of those things can be controlled by the leader to bring the desired element of process or dynamics smaller the size more intense larger the size less intense on individuals because there is much more hiding room these are the things which we talked about now today i want to talk about a, a little specific roles of uh, the leader i think we can talk about more from a different task level what are the leader's role the first is if we are going to be working with the formed group that is you are bringing the group members then that means you have got to do the assessment you have got to look at the goal formulation you have got to assess the individual members needs as well as their potentials then you need to have a group goal as well as we have to make sure whether the two are in the fit that the individual members and the groups can the group provide the needs of the individual they may not have to exactly fit like a hand and glove no i'm not saying that but at the same time you need to have a certain degree of compatibility of one one wants it and whether the group can afford it so that is where i think it's a much more uh, a technical or more of a structural uh, element of activity which the leader does now if you are working with a natural group that is the, the gang the activity will be very different because what you'll have is that you did not have any control of how the members of that gang or the natural group has been existing or a gang of individuals who are in a group home for instance in mental health and you go there to provide group work services you are the foreigner you are the alien you are the newcomer now you have to win the confidence of the individual members as well as the total group to penetrate their system you are the outsider so that means you will have to be very gentle you will have to learn the group culture you will have to learn who are the people who might be objecting your entrance who might be the one who need more attention and all of those things so in those kinds of things you will be less active less active and be more observant than if you are doing in a formed group in a formed group you are demanded you are asked upon so many questions and to provide all that information you are going to be a much more active person okay so these are the two tasks how are they are different now the other part of it we have to look at it is that certain degree of leadership you need to have there are lots of there are millions of work written up on group work leadership or leadership per se if you go i think one cannot read the material on one's lifetime believe me um i remember uh, back in the 70s when i was working upon on a book on leadership that when i tried to do the 
book literature review, I got so overwhelmed, I almost threw the book away and saying that, forget it. So you have to focus on what kind of leadership. We need to talk about leadership roles as if we are going to work with uh, adult or children, doesn't matter. In the beginning part, you have to be a little bit more active and take the role of a facilitator, an enabler. But ultimately, what I do is that my aim in group is, ultimately, as the group moves, I try to withdraw as much as possible, except at the time of crisis, such as supposing one member is bullying another one. For that's such exactly, for instance, the group backtracks and goes off track in their goal. They wanted to do something, focus on something, and they start talking about it. Or sometimes one member monopolizes. That time I have to come. So when and if those kinds of times arises, that is where my leadership comes in. I'll intervene. Now, I will also have to be very careful of that leader many times become a role model for the group members and the group members do form relationship which they are either consciously aware or not onto the leader and it's like teacher playing favorite with the students so you cannot give that kind of a preferred attention to one set of kids or men or women or the membership let's put it and ignore the other and we have to be very careful of that things so that group you have got to look at is G as a capital G the individual members is a small I but sometimes if a person becomes in need that I that members will be a capital I because you're going to focus on that kind of things for instance a group member let's say an adult group member and this is a, a group of drug addicts. Supposing this member had a relapse and the other seven of them are still on the wagon. He comes back, fortunately, after the relapse. You'll focus on him. So that day it is not a monopolizing because it is he who needs more attention than, but then what I'll do is this, rather than I work with him one-on-one, -on -one, I will individually keep him there and use the group resources of giving the support, give him the confrontation if it is needed. Why did you fall off? Didn't you know that we could talk about it, that don't hang around with your own friends? You went back there and look what happened. Then another member giving support saying that, don't worry about it, Johnny. This is not in the end of the world. We are here to hold your hands. Remember three months ago, I also had a slip, but we learn and live. You know, these kinds of things. So that is where the leader will be playing different roles. You can be an enabler, you could be a facilitator, you could be an expert, you could be all different kinds of things, but ultimately you have got to use the group at your disposal to help each other. So think about how you would use these different leadership skills in the groups which you have been in mind or which you are formulating and think about how you will uh, use them to meet the goals. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.